concept that Tesla just proposed, and we have to say, the design is superb. Tesla designers and engineers obviously want to do more than cars. That's why they're transitioning to making jets. Musk is a visionary, and he doesn't get satisfied with limited focus. This is evident from the projects he's accomplished so far. He doesn't do things on average. The Tesla boss, the engineers, and the designers at Tesla do things on a grand scale. Welcome to Elon Musk Live! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon, as we are your number one place for the latest Elon Musk, Tesla, and SpaceX-related news. Elon Musk just discussed extending Tesla's business beyond electric cars and trucks. He desires to develop an electric supersonic plane. Musk doesn't want conventional airplanes this time around. The planes he envisions will soar to higher heights using vertical takeoff and landing or VTOL technology before utilizing battery power to get to speeds of over 768 miles per hour. Musk loves talking about developing an electric VTOL aircraft, and you know he's a man of action. He revealed the idea in 2009. Speaking at a TechCrunch interview, he said, an electric plane only gets more feasible as battery energy improves. Musk is a wealthy tech boss, so money isn't a problem. He's the CEO of two successful multi-billion dollar firms, SpaceX and Tesla, and also owns the brains behind The Boring Company, Neuralink, and OpenAI. Also, a father of six children could do a few things at a time. What restricts him from developing the next-generation airplane is the amount of work on his desk. In 2021, Musk tweeted, I'm so dying to do a supersonic VTOL electric jet, but I already have way too much on my plate. Any more work and my brain will explode. In response to the question about the subject of the VTOL electric aircraft, he commented that he had enough on his plate. The billionaire confessed that building a prototype for the VTOL electric aircraft would be very easy, but a volume production with high reliability and low cost, plus passing all the regulations, would be 100 times more challenging. Musk stated that he had discussed this idea with some of his friends. On the Joe Rogan podcast, he said, The most exciting thing about an electric plane is you want to go as high as possible, so you need a specific energy density in the battery pack, because you have to overcome gravitational potential energy. From his statement, Musk has thought about the project carefully. He pointed out that the energy you use during the cruise is very low, and then you can recapture a large amount of your gravitational potential energy on the way down. So you really don't need any kind of reserve fuel because you would have the energy of height. Also, he explained that the higher you go, the faster you will go for the same amount of energy, and at precise altitudes, you can go supersonic with less energy per mile than an aircraft at 35,000 feet. Musk also talked about his interest in the Tesla Model V. The Model V is a VTOL electric concept. It was designed to utilize the best electric current technology and an aerial platform. We can't help but talk about how the concept looks like a flying saucer. An industrial engineer from the United Kingdom, Tom Abbott Davies, designed it. When Musk saw it, he commented on it on Twitter saying, it looks pretty cool. The Model 5 design is not based on a flying saucer. It's based on the appearance of a manta ray, and it could convey more than one passenger. And it has a detailed design. It has titanium turbine blades that can fly vertically, with the rear fan on a gimbal to transition to forward flight. To ensure a smooth flying experience, the aircraft is gyroscopically stabilized. Also, it has three lithium-ion battery-powered motors a 1,250-kilowatt motor, and dual 650-kilowatt brushless motors geared with rotor blades. All these features enable the distributed electric propulsion required for flight. So if one part of the aircraft fails, it will still land safely. The Model 5 has a retractable landing gear hidden away under a carbon fiber underbody on the exterior part. Also, it has a titanium shell, a magnesium fuselage, and a large canopy that can be adjusted to fit two people. Abbott Davies began the sketching of the Tesla Model 5 with his hand in 2014. Then he studied at Stowe School during his undergraduate studies at Loughborough University. In the 2017 school year, he adopted the 3D CAD program SOLIDWORKS to finalize the design and KeyShot to render the CAD files. 
In 2019, Abbott Davies graduated from the institution. Then, his goal was to have his internship training at Tesla. While applying for an internship at Tesla, he included this design. Sadly, Abbott Davies didn't get the internship, so he sought work as an industrial designer for an EVTOL or hybrid electric VTOL manufacturer. It's also important we tell you that other companies also look forward to developing an electric aircraft. In 2017, Eviation showed us its prototype, the Alice aircraft. Alice attracted more attention than Tesla. Alice was the first all-electric plane that could be used commercially. It could also cover a range of up to 600 miles and convey about 9 passengers. These features and specifications make Alice possible for some short-haul regional airlines. Eviation decided to launch manufactured copies, which came with a range downgrade that can still be useful for some routes. Eviation my name is Tyler Devereaux. I'm inviting you to attend my brand new two-hour live masterclass. And I'm about to show you what 99% of real estate investors proposes to hold an inaugural flight. But the certification process for the Alice aircraft will take a while. And Alice is not expected to start operations as a commercial aircraft until 2024. That is, if another company doesn't beat it to the punch. Sikorsky, a Lockheed Martin company, is also looking to develop an electric aircraft. This reputable company is behind some of America's most successful helicopter designs, and they develop all-electric helicopters solely for research reasons. The Firefly is a Sikorsky 300C helicopter. Its engines were replaced with an electric motor and lithium-ion battery packs. Also, it's dubbed as the first fully electric helicopter in the world. In addition, the helicopter is still very primitive. It can only convey the pilot for no longer than 12 to 15 minutes at 92 miles per hour. The helicopter's blades will still auto-rotate if the battery loses its power. This enables the pilot to land in any open space. That's not all. We haven't even gotten to the good part yet, the Tesla helicopter. Antonio Paglia, the designer, believes that the Tesla helicopter is on its way. This design represents the virtue of Tesla as a company. Like the supersonic electric VTOL, Tesla has no time or immediate need to build electric helicopters. Antonio views that Tesla would develop the helicopter when the company has improved and sophisticated battery technology that can power flying machines. The essence of designing the future flying machine is for efficiency and speed. Antonio expects that the Tesla helicopter would perform duties like safety and patrol. These functions would also make it perfect for departments like safety and patrol, air and ground patrol would become easier, cheaper, and more effective. In comparison to conventional helicopters, the Tesla helicopter has a five-bladed rotor, while most helicopters have three or two-bladed rotors. The rotors enable the helicopter to achieve lift force smoothly and reduce turbulence during ascension and descent. The structure of the Tesla helicopter looks like an exoskeleton, which helps maintain stability. It also has two small fins on either side of the helicopter, which serves the same purpose. The fins are close to what you want to see on fixed-wing aircraft, but they're much smaller. Furthermore, the concept features a completely closed cockpit. We can't say if that's an oversight on the part of the designer, but we believe Tesla would love to include functionality to switch a covering or shield on top of the cockpit. This would allow the aircraft operator to shift from a direct view to a video-connected view. 